Lego is the most popular toy in the world, and pinball is one of the most iconic arcade games ever created. Ooh, what if I built a life-size pinball machine out of Lego? This is a pinball machine. It has flippers, a pullback mechanism, and a bunch of obstacles on the playing field. And this is a Lego recreation that fully works, except it's super small. Like, so small it fits in the palm of my hand, which isn't very fun to play. I think you can see where I'm going with this. Okay, so rather than being content with this pocket-sized, well, not really, this palm-sized arcade game, I bought all of these Lego pieces so that I could build an almost life-size replica of the actual machine. They even sent me a Minecraft boat. A pinball machine has four slightly angled legs and a big box that contains all the mechanisms and play features. But since I'm building with Lego, I decided to use big blocky legs to make sure it stands by itself. Then, underneath the board held up by those legs, I'm going to have a long tread chain that transports the balls from one end to the other so it can be reset. We can use a bunch of these 2x4 bricks to create an alternating pattern in an 8x8 square shape to create a strong enough design to hold itself up. First leg is finished. I have six boxes of 2x4 Lego bricks along with a couple bags. Building the legs took up all the bags in one and a half boxes, and once I was done building up a bunch of these little sections, I connected them all together. In order for it to be sturdy enough, I- huh? Wait, who put that in the video? That wasn't supposed to go there. Oh, wait, that was me. Never mind. I also built long chunks to run in between each leg so that they wouldn't splay in every direction. That is definitely the biggest thing I've ever made. Okay, so the legs are finished, and surprisingly enough, it stands on its own, even without a Technic frame. Ha, I bet you thought I was gonna knock that over. Bruh. Pinball machines tend to have a lot of color on the sides of the model, so I used a bunch of different blue, purple, and yellow bricks to add long, sloping stripes to the sides. It doesn't quite have the same detail as a real pinball machine, but it should do. Okay, now that the frame is done, I can start building the actual surface that the ball rolls around on. I started with just building up layers, but I knew that just stacking 2x4 super tall would not hold together at all. So I built two long Technic frame pieces that can be stuck in with Technic pins to hold it all together when it lays horizontally. But I didn't end up recording much of the building of the actual game board itself, so rather than a bunch of images just showing what I built, I'm just gonna turn myself into a minifigure and show you instead. Hmm, this shouldn't be too hard. Three, two, one. Whoa, it worked. Okay, so pinball machines always have two flippers that the player uses to not lose, so I used some Technic bricks to leave holes for that mechanism, and then built up two slope walls to funnel the ball towards the flippers. And now that I'm a Lego man, I can be a really good skateboarder too, or a soccer player. And speaking of balls, I decided to use these little soccer balls since they fit well in a two stud wide gap. By the way, if you like arcade games or Lego or any of the past videos I've made combining the two, like this one about this massive 3 in on arcade game, then make sure to go support my project over on Lego Ideas. If it gets just 10,000 votes, it has a real chance of becoming a set, so I'd greatly appreciate it. I want the pinball machine to have more than just a flat surface, so I used some bright pieces in order to make some diamond shaped assemblies with Technic pin holes in the center, then hooked up these super small and light, huh? super light. I think you messed up the script, our jam, because when you're four bricks tall, they are very heavy. Light circuit cube motors on the back so I could motorize different bumpers and spinners later on in the build. I also need a place for the ball to be launched, so I built up some long walls. Oof, that's a long walk. That go almost all the way to the top so that the ball is guided up and around. And yes, every Every other pinball machine has this on the right side, but it's my build and I'm left handed so I can do it on the wrong side if I want. We can add in some final finishing touches like some spinning pieces controlled by the motor. Whoa. Wow. I'm a human again. <clears throat> As I was saying, we can add in some spinning pieces controlled by the motors we added earlier and this track the ball might be able to run along. And then the board is done, or at least the part that isn't the mechanism. For all my viewers with OCD. You're welcome. There's some blocks sticking out on the inside of the frame that it rests on so that it doesn't just crumble to pieces. And I use some Technic pieces to hold it all at an angle at the top. Then I can lock it all in with some bricks. Oh wait, I still need to build the mechanisms underneath the board. I'll use a bunch of plates and tiles to create a long track that the balls can roll down once you lose the game. It's nice I didn't have to use treads because this is a much simpler solution. I need some sort of tread mechanism that lifts them upwards so that it resets the ball. If I take Technic pins and put them spaced out on a tread, then the balls can catch and be lifted up. But I quickly realized that won't work because the pins don't stick out enough. So I switched to these blue ones that are longer. Okay, now that I got the part that will be under the board finished, I can switch to making the flipper mechanism work. I can add these two beams on each flipper for the mechanism to branch off of, but for it to work, I have to add a single 1x4 brick on each side of the build, which means taking a ton of it apart first. Well, that kind of failed at being easy to put back together, but now that the pieces are in, it's starting to take shape. The flippers need a rubber band to hold them in a resting position, but the bricks I added stop the beams from coming any closer to each other and hold them just in the right spot. Then I used another rubber band to create a pullback mechanism to launch the balls. 
Then these beams here connect to the button on either side of the model, which now can be pressed and activate each flipper. Now that that's done, I'll use a bunch of these inverted tiles to smooth out the bottom of these bricks. Wow, that's so clean, I might even consider subscribing. POV time! I built this track to replicate the things they have on the actual pinball machines, but it's really hard to get the ball to go on without flying off the side or just rolling back nope, down, nope, so I switched nope, it out nope, for nope, a really nope, small nope. jump and ring that slid perfectly into space the track left. That was so satisfying, I bet you guys weren't ready for that. Oh no! They were ready for that! I wonder if I can make it. It also left an empty spot on the top of the board, so I'll throw in some flame pieces because this build is just fire. Sorry, I'll never say that again. And with that finished, that means it's mechanism time. At the top of the treads, I'll add another motor, an axle running across the top, and hook the tread in. Okay, perfect. It works. Then I'll throw in a ramp so the ball can be stored somewhere, and a spring-loaded mechanism that only lets one ball onto the playing field at once. That piece literally just launched and landed in here. Like, it just shot straight across. That's powerful. I'm moved. I'm not putting that in the video either. This mechanism lets you push it to get a ball to roll into the pullback area, and has a little extra space at the very front to hold a ball so that no more than one comes through unless you hold it longer. And I can stick the balls down here and they'll roll all the way along and get picked up by the tread, loaded onto the track, and are ready to be used again. I had some problems with the track flinging the balls off, but I eventually fixed it all and moved on to building up the walls of the pinball machine so that I could cover all the mechanisms. Then I ordered some final parts so I could tile off all the studded parts of the build, and finish this part that is covered in glass. I also got some of these cool dome pieces to stick over the spot where the balls come out. So far, I've built an entire frame that stands completely on its own, colorful walls, a game board with moving obstacles, working flippers, a pullback mechanism, and even a way to reset the balls when a player loses. And after all those things, I sat down to play. Yeah, it's way too slow, which means I need to give the board more tilt so that the balls will roll faster, which also means taking it off yet again, Bruh. removing a bunch of these 2x4s so that it will fit at a higher tilt, and putting it back in, hoping it will all work the same. Wow, that's actually so much better. It's finished. Now let's turn on all the motors and see how well I do. All right, you guys, that's it. I just built a working, almost life-size pinball machine in Lego, and it's actually so fun to play. 